What's up guys, it's Kaylin Sarai, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you make that red button white, and I promise you, it'll be a really good time. And so for today's video, I decided to come back to you guys with a college video. And um, I want to share with you guys a what's in my shower caddy video, plus how to survive communal bathrooms. Because many universities, like for freshmen at least, they offer community bathrooms and not really your own private bathrooms. So I want to share with you guys my tips and tricks on how I survived it because I did live with using community bathrooms for my freshman and my sophomore year. So before I jump into my tips and tricks for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what's in my shower caddy because if you're an incoming freshman, maybe you're unaware of what you should possibly keep in your shower caddy. I know when I was an incoming freshman, I didn't think having a shower caddy was necessary just because I was like, why don't I just carry my stuff to and from the bathroom? Like, why, does it, why do I have to keep it into a bucket? But it's so helpful, so I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what's in mine. So this is my shower caddy. This is, I think, from Target. I believe it's from Target and it's just pink and it has like like little glitter things in it. I don't even know if, you, if it's picking up on the camera but there is glitter and stuff um, you know encrusted in this or whatever. So um, yes this is my shower caddy so I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what's in it. Um, there are three compartments. So I'm going to go into what's in the bigger one first. I try to keep it as organized as possible but it gets a little hectic during the school year. So in the long one, I have my loofah. I am a loofah girl, so I just pick up loofahs from Walmart. They're about 2 to $3 each, and I pick one up maybe every month or two. Then I have my shower gel. This is obviously almost gone. Um, I'm really into Caress um, shower gel, and I don't like bar soap. I like liquid soap. So I'm really into Caress, so I love all of their scents, but I try to stay more towards the shower gels that have um, exfoliating beads in them just because my skin reacts a lot better to exfoliating soaps. Then also I have my face soap and I don't use this one every day but this is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Problem Skin Facial Wash and Scrub with Terramin Extract and Tea Tree Oil. I am going to go into a whole skincare routine and I'm going to show you guys all the products that I've been using but um, this is just one of the things that I use. And then lastly in the big compartment I have an extra um, towel rag and just in case for like if I want to use it on my face or anything I just keep an extra one and I keep it rolled up in the corner because you never know when you'll need an extra rag. Story time. One time I forgot that I didn't like because I threw my old loofah out and I forgot to put my new loofah in my shower caddy and I did not have a washcloth or a rag um, in my shower caddy either so I got into the shower. I already have my clothes off and I realized I didn't have a rag or, or a loofah so I was like what do I do? So I had my phone playing music in the shower like I had it on the side so I had to text my friend I was just like can you come into my room? get me a rag or one of my loofahs doesn't matter but I need it now <laughs> and it was just really weird and she was like you are so weird Kaylin but whatever you forget so just always keep one or the other in there like it's just just it's better to be safe than sorry okay so then I'm gonna go into what's in the mini compartments here and so I have um one that's pretty much uh dental care so I keep um mouthwash in here, this is just a Crest Pro Health one, and I keep um, a to my toothbrush obviously, you need to brush your teeth, and so I like to keep like a cover on my brush. The first trick was having um, both a rag or a loofah or two rags or whatever you use, just keep two just in case. That's my first tip. My second tip is to have something covering your brush because a lot of germs are in the bathroom obviously and so if you have your toothbrush just sitting out like this, a lot of germs get into the brush and then you're brushing your teeth, you're brushing your teeth with a whole bunch of germs and it's really disgusting. So I like to keep a cover on them whether it's like these small ones or the one that covers the whole toothbrush. I used to use those too so it doesn't really matter but just have something covering your toothbrush. It's disgusting if you don't. Then I have my, um, what is this, toothpaste, and this is just the Crest Complete Whitening Scope, and I like the green flavor the best. I don't really like blue flavored mint stuff. Then in the last little cubby, I have random stuff. 
So I keep my retainer. I don't wear my retainer anymore. I got my braces off when I was in the 10th grade. I think I right before I turned, or was it right after I turned 16? I don't know, but around that, 15, 16. So, and I'm now 20, so I was like five, four or five years ago. So I don't really wear my retainer that much, but I like to keep it just in case, like, I'm like, oh, maybe I should wear my retainer. I keep it in there, so. Um, I always keep moisturizer wherever. I have so many moisturizers, but I like to keep one, at least one, in my shower caddy. I have a mask. I like to keep a mask in my shower caddy. And this is the Shea Moisture um, African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask with Terramin Extract and Tea Tree Oil. Like I said before, I'll go into a whole skincare routine with the products that I use, but this is um, the face mask that I've been using recently. And lastly, I just keep a razor because you're a girl. Keep a razor in your in your shower kitty. Unless you don't have to shave, then I envy you, like to the extreme. So that is everything that's in my shower caddy. So now let's get into more tips and tricks that I have for you for surviving communal bathrobes. So when you have a bathroom that you share with like 20 to 30 people, Please wear shower shoes. I hate when I, cause sometimes I've, I haven't seen it happen too often, but there have been times when I've seen people get in the shower with no shower shoes when you're sharing a bathroom with many other girls that you do not know where they come from. And it's just more clean to just have shower shoes. Um, you can't even wear flip flops. Like I wear flip flops in the shower back at school. I don't really get the actual shower shoes that people say to get but you can even wear flip-flops and they're like two dollars at Old Navy so wear shower shoes please another tip that I have is to have Lysol in your room now I don't like to carry Lysol in my shower caddy just because I don't like chemicals by my hygiene stuff normally if I go into the shower and I feel like oh this is so dirty and not clean I rush back to my room and get Lysol and just Lysol everything down so just keep Lysol handy with you like in your room at least in your room but I just don't like to personally keep it in my shower caddy and my probably most important number one tip is just make sure you clean up after yourselves like it is literally disgusting quick story time so my community bathrooms freshman year um, we have four floors um, in my dorm and each floor had two bathrooms but each floor had about I want to say about 30 to 40 girls so um, we had two bathrooms, but each bathroom had three sinks, two toilets, and two showers. So in total, we had six sinks, four toilets, and four showers on each floor. So um, I lived on the third floor, and the third floor did really well with being clean. I never really experienced any problems up until literally like, I think it was like the last week or two of the school year. We had done so well fall semester, spring semester up until like the last week I think it was I walked into the shower I was happy I like I was almost done with my finals and I saw a bloody tampon in the shower like who first of all who puts a bloody tampon in the shower that's disgusting that's the first thing the second thing if you put the bloody tampon in there why not pick it up and put it in the trash can like so sometimes things like that happen in community bathrooms, but you just have to make sure you clean up after yourselves because if everybody does that, then you will never um, come across that problem. So just clean up after yourselves. That's the number one most important thing I can ever tell you guys about surviving communal bathrooms is to clean up after yourselves. Uh, another tip that I have is to have a Velcro wraparound. So like, I know when I was back home, I used to like wrap, just wrap a regular towel around me because my bathroom is literally two feet away from my room back home. But at school, your bathroom is most likely would be down the hall. Because I lived, our bathrooms were in the middle of the hall and I lived on the opposite side of the hall. So I had to walk a long distance to get to my bathroom. And girls can be very immature and try to like rip your towel. I don't know. That is just, it, I, I've seen it happen. It's never happened to me. I've never seen it happen, but I've heard of it happening. So, and I had it happening before I came into college, so my mom bought me the Velcro uh, towel wrap, so basically you could just Velcro the towel on and it pretty much stays put, nothing happens, you're safe, you're good, so I got mine from Target, I believe, I don't have it with me now, it's back in Hampton, but um, I do recommend that you get those. A trick that I have for not being in the bathroom when it's busy 
is to try and like take a shower or whatever at a non-busy time. So, for example, my freshman year, um, when Empire was pretty much popular Wednesday nights at 8, I think it was, you knew everyone was watching Empire at 8. So if you're not really a big Empire fan, like I was sort of kind of an Empire fan, but not really. But if you're not really an Empire fan, make sure you go and take a shower at 8 o'clock because most likely everybody else would be watching Empire in their room. Or even if you do watch Empire, you can get the, is it on the CW? No, the Fox app. You can get the Fox app on your phone and you can watch Empire the next day. So that's a trick that I have for you is pick a time where people are normally watching their shows. Or maybe if you don't have class while everybody else has class, you can take a shower then. Like, just pick a time where you are, where you feel that everyone else would be busy except for you so that you have the bathroom all to yourself. For me personally, I would pick a time where people were watching a show that I didn't really like and I would go and take a shower then or I would wait till the next day to watch it on my phone. So, I mean, it's pretty much like up to you, but that's what I did. Um, in the mornings, expect the bathroom to be busy, um, especially like around 8 in the morning, 9 in the morning, the bathrooms were always very busy in my dorm. So what I would suggest is that you get up maybe an extra 15 minutes earlier than you really need to just in case like the bathroom gets busy and you can't get to the sink right away or you can't get to the toilet right away or you can't get to the shower right away. Just wake up about like at least 15 minutes earlier than you normally would back home and you'll avoid being late to class. Another tip that I have for you is before you go into the bathroom stall, make sure that there is toilet paper in the toilet paper dispenser before you use the restroom because yes in my school at least we do have like um, janitorial staff that come in clean the bathrooms replace the toilet paper and the paper towels but sometimes with living with 30 40 girls on the floor your toilet paper runs out pretty quickly so I suggest that you check to see if there's toilet paper in there before you use the restroom and to always keep an extra roll of toilet paper in your room so like I would just go to Walmart and get about like two to three rolls for about two dollars three dollars and I keep it in my room and if I need toilet paper if there's none in the stall I'll rush back to my room get the toilet paper and come back to my to the bathroom and you know do your business you know and my last tip is if you know you're gonna go number two please bring air freshener like come on <laughs> if you're living with 40 girls no one wants to smell that so just bring air freshener. Like sometimes you can't help the smell, I understand that, but bring air freshener to help it, you know? And there's also a thing, I've never tried it, but my friend um, had tried it back when I was a freshman. There's this thing that they sell at Bed Bath & Beyond, I believe it's called Poopery Spray, and you just spray it, and I guess you just don't smell your number two when you go. So just, if you can't get Poopery, just bring regular Febreze, please. Like it, it. So guys, that was my video on my What's in My Shower Caddy video and my tips and tricks for living in a dorm with communal bathrooms. So if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and leave any more college questions or college videos down below. I want to make a video answering any questions you guys have concerning college. So leave those questions down below and I'll make sure to answer those in a video if I can. And um... I will see you in my next video. Love you guys so much. Mwah.